This window here says parent change. The window uh, in which object is living is called parent and for example if I want this object to be inside of this window I do not need to remove it or anything like that I can just change its parent and that is what is this library allowing me to do on a very easy way so if I click this button here it's changing the parent of this text box the text box is continuing to work as before so mm, something press return key it works as before mm, click the button and it works as it worked before also i can move it back once i created uh, once i press this button the function um, changed the parent of this text box and created another button on its place if i click on that button it will get the text box back and remove itself so that is how the parent changing works in this library here comes the cool part and the cool part are sliders and actually color changing first of all you can see that once i slide this slider it's changing this number right here because slider is visual representation of range of numbers so between 0 and 205 in this case now i can change color of each window to any color that i would like to as you can see it's slightly going from the darker version to a lighter to, on the top of the window that is big that is the reason for locking the maximum color on 205 and you can see this is how the white looks also I can change the transparency of the border so I can make it fully untransparent or I can make it fully transparent something about 80% is the nicest and I like darker green darker green looks cool so that is how the sliders work you can see that each slider has different color and that is because I can just like with strings I can choose any color for the background it makes things more cooler there are only two more controls left in to show and you know those are the most coolest one I wrote inside of the library first one are tabs you know how tabs work you can have as many tabs as you wish and on each one you can show different things so even I even uh, programmed for this tab area to change the name the name of the title of the window so when I click on the tab 1 it says OpenGL when I click on the tab 2 it says strings now this thing OpenGL it says here OpenGL that is something that you will be amazed actually I was now you can see this here this red white thing can you guess what it is I'm pretty sure you can't that is control that is just simply called OpenGL window and what it allows me to do is to create area like this in on any position inside of the window in any size uh, program it to change size or anything that will totally independently render a whole different entirely new scene inside of it now it works normally just like anything else this background here is uh, being rendered normally with GL clear color just as this greenish here this blue is being produced on the same way that means that this is actually it's not some imitation or anything it's really a uh, new new OpenGL rendering area independent of anything outside of it 
and I can have as many of these as I wish so that is the thing that I really really love about this library currently the coolest control I wrote I enjoyed it, it has lots of potential I will use it in editor wherever I get chance to for example for preview of models when I select them from the list or textures or any other thing it is just truly amazing I love it let's scale this one and say a few words before I finish this part here with this preview there are definitely some more things to do and I hope that I will do them as quickly as possible and I know that I will I will give everything from myself I will not be lazy anymore and I will implement first thing that I will do once I finish this once I get it to a decent version and that will be probably this week I will start implementing it inside of the game editor that I'm that I started to develop and it will change the level editor from ground up it would it will be much much more useful application than it is right now so that is the thing that is making me happy and that is all from this preview and that's pretty much all I had to say for this episode I hope you did enjoy it if you didn't mm, I don't know I probably did something wrong I hope I didn't now if you have any questions or anything smart on your mind or anything on your mind leave a comment down below if you are watching this on the YouTube you can find the link in the description that will lead you to my website the name of the website is up here don't forget to like my videos and subscribe if you are not a subscriber because that is the way that you will support me see you soon bye